This video encompasses the explanation of geothermal energy, covering its definition, historical background, sources such as boiling mud pots, hot springs, geysers, and volcanoes, applications, both direct and indirect for energy generation, the merits and drawbacks of geothermal energy, and the potential scope of geothermal energy in Pakistan. This video covers geothermal energy, from introduction and history to resources, uses, direct and indirect, and a balanced assessment of advantages and disadvantages. The scope of geothermal energy in Pakistan, considering factors like geography and energy demand, is also explored. Introduction to geothermal energy, the term geothermal is derived from the Greek words geo, signifying earth, and therm, denoting heat. What is geothermal energy? It's simply the heat energy of the earth, generated by various natural processes, such as, heat from the formation of the planet Earth, which has not yet been lost, decay of radioactive elements, friction, how geothermal energy comes to surface, the geothermal gradient is the difference in temperature between the core of the planet and its surface, drives a continuous conduction of thermal energy in the form of heat from the core to the surface. History of Geothermal Energy the ancient Romans used hot springs to heat their baths and homes. This magic water was also used for medical and cooking purposes. Archaeological evidence shows that the first human use of geothermal resources occurred more than 10,000 years ago in North America, with the settlement of Paleo Indians around hot springs. In fact, hot springs seem to have been one of our earliest luxuries. Whenever in the world hot water came to the surface, we have used it for remedial bathing. Geothermal energy heat from the interior of the planet Earth has been utilized by mankind since its existence. Hot springs and pools has been used for bathing and health treatment and also for cooking and heating. This has also been used in past for producing salt from hot brine. Interestingly in many ancient civilizations the resources of the geothermal energy were considered as religious places and places of divine power and still in some regions of the world this belief continues. Natural springs where water emerges from underground have been symbols of life and power in civilization. Resources of Geothermal Energy Hot Spring A hot spring is a spring produced by the emergence of exothermally heated groundwater that rises from the Earth's crust. There are geothermal hot springs in many locations all over the crust of the Earth. While some of these springs contain water that is a safe temperature for bathing, others are so hot that immersion can result in injury or death. Water issuing from a hot spring is heated exothermally, that is, with heat produced from the Earth's mantle. In general, the temperature of rocks within the Earth increases with depth. The rate of temperature increase with depth is known as the geothermal gradient. If water percolates deeply enough into the crust, it will be heated as it comes into contact with hot rocks. The water from hot springs in non-volcanic areas is heated in this manner. Boiling mud pot Mud pots are actually hot springs or fumaroles with limited amounts of water but a lot of clay from surrounding rock and soil causing a boiling slurry. Mud pots form where steam and gas rise from underground into rainwater ponds. The acidic gas transforms rocks on the surface into a clay which mixes with the heated pond water into mud. The steam heats the mud and makes it bubble. Some mud pots can reach boiling temperatures. Fumaroles are steam vents through which steam and gases escape from deep under the earth. Geyser Geysers are of the dry steam power plant type, where the steam directly powers the generator. In general, the geysers has 1,517 megawatts of active installed capacity with an average production factor of 63%, 955 megawatts. The geysers is the world's largest geothermal field, containing a complex of 22 geothermal power plants, drawing steam from more than 350 wells. Located in the Mayakamas Mountains approximately 72 miles, 116 kilometers, north of San Francisco, California. Uses of Geothermal Energy There are two types of uses of geothermal energy, direct use, indirect use. Direct use, hot spring used as spas heating water at fish farms, provide heat for buildings, 
raising plants in greenhouse, drying crops provide heat to industrial processes. The indirect use of geothermal energy usually refers to electricity generation by using heat from the geothermal source. Basically, this geothermal power plant is similar to steam power plants, but it uses earth as the natural boiler. Power generation from steam, geothermal energy, there are three types of power plants operated on the steam obtained from the earth, geothermal energy, 1. Dry steam power plant, 2. Flash steam power plant, 3. Binary steam power plant. Dry steam power plant is illustrated in the diagram given below. Dry steam power plant are, the oldest type of geothermal power plant used, geothermal reservoir containing pure steam is required, pure dry steam drives turbine, operating at California, Italy and Japan. Flash steam power plant is shown in figure given below. Flash steam power plant are, commonly used geothermal power plant. Geothermal reservoirs containing both hot water and steam is required, pressure changing system is required, operating at Hawaii, Nevada, Utah and some other places. The diagram depicted below illustrates a binary steam power plant. Binary steam power plant does not use steam directly to spin turbines, only the heated of the underground water is used, vaporized hydrocarbons are used to spin the turbine, hydrocarbons having lower boiling point such as isopentane, isobutane and propane can be used. No harmful gas is emitted to the atmosphere because the underground water is never disclosed to outside. This is the worldwide accepted power plant. Advantages of geothermal energy are, available all year around, does not involve any combustion of the fuel, independent of weather, clean resource, very little emission or overall environmental impact, economically sound alternative, the fuel is free, sustainable energy source, low cost yet efficient. Disadvantages of geothermal energy are, not widespread source of energy, high installation cost, earthquakes, construction of plant can affect the stability of the land, drilling needs more energy, steam can contain toxic gases. Geothermal energy in Pakistan Pakistan is among the naturally gifted countries that are rich in conventional and renewable energy resources. Despite the massive potential of energy resources, Pakistan is still an energy-deficient country and have to import petroleum products to barely accomplish its energy demand. Geothermal energy is still one of the unexplored energy resources for electric power generation in Pakistan. Pakistan can overcome the energy shortage to a significant level by harnessing renewable energy resources, such as, geothermal energy. Majority of the geothermal hot springs and mud volcanoes exists within the seismic belt of Pakistan. This graph shows the gap between generation and consumption of energy in Pakistan stating how desperately we need some alternative source of energy who can fill this gap, but the question is, do we have geothermal energy? And the answer to this question is yes we do have GT energy. Not in small quantity but in bulk. This graph shows the magnitude and locations of sources of GT energy. Some worth mentioning resources, these are places where GT energy is discovered and the most important column of this chart is CPG which stands for current power generation. Unfortunately Pakistan is not producing a single unit of energy from these reservoirs. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up subscribing to my channel, hitting the bell icon, leaving a comment, and sharing it with your friends. Your support is greatly appreciated.